Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. I'm Terra Cactus, and we move on to the next part of our grand adventure in Pathway. On the rise ahead, you spot a lone soldier and his back to you. You sneak forward quickly and easily overpower him. Now you crouch behind the wind check, jeep and survive the sight below, and you improvise German, and you'll imprison your impoverished, you improvise German camp. God, I cannot speak today. Its size suggests it must be the base of something in importance. A soft groan, a soft groan, and you can tell the soldier has regained consciousness. Terry, get the man. We were ordered to set up a radio station here. Please don't hurt me. I'm just the radio operator. I was looking for a better place to set up an antenna. That's all you're gonna get out of him. You gag the man and you think about what to do. Take a wide detour around the camp. The Armenian Mountains. You breathe a sigh of release as you finally leave the merciless heat of the Syrian desert behind you. All the awe-inspiring mountains of the Armenian Highlands rise before you. Legend has it that Noah landed here, somewhere here with his ark and the waters of the great flood receded. But this is connection to the wrath of God? You instinctively look up by the mountain peaks around you. Do not reveal any secrets. You take another long break before you set off on your journey. So uh, going around the mountains, up to the top here. We're going to take the left approach. You suddenly see something flash in the endless sea of dunes. You soon come across a track that it crosses your path. You see a tire tracks and several vehicles, probably German military convoy. Your suspicions are confirmed when you long line of jerry cans scattered along the edge of the track. German army supplies. They probably fell off the truck during the night of the convoy. The jerry cans are full of gasoline. More gas. The tire tracks lead deeper into the desert. Perhaps you will find more fuel if you follow them. Let's search for more. You finally have the tracks to the wild. They finally disappear into the shifting desert sands. You have no choice but to continue your journey. Let's take a left. Among the rocks you see the remains of a broken down truck that must have veered off in the steep mountain road. Unfortunately, the short search becomes clear that the Germans left nothing of value. Suddenly cries out of the Baron suddenly cries out in delight. A glove compartment, you find a forgotten edition of the Journal of the National Racial Archaeology of April 1932. You leaf through it and pause at the article that finds of the southern eastern Antolia. It contains an image of the hinted relief fragments, including the deception of the winged birdman shooting lightning bolts from his hand. The caption of the ancient eastern saying, The flame of the hand banishes the hungry ones of, from the gardens. You exchange confused looks. What could it mean? A bit of propaganda. Somewhere in the desert. Before you lies in the eerie moonscape banks of the salt lake. You step out carefully into the salt crystals, but the ground creaks and crackles among under your boots. It's no use. You'll have to travel around the salt lake. Lost one fuel. Something isn't right with a strange bunker you found among the desert. You carefully sneak closer, and the caution was justified. A group of cultists is working in the bunker entrance. Gotta ready our weapons. We gotta push on through. Cultists are dangerous son of a bitches. Um...
kill the zombie. Let's vanish from sight. I'm gonna move him ahead. Try to see if I can't snipe this guy. Move you ahead. That's not a cultist. Well, that, that is a cultist, it's just not a zombie. There we go. Is there anything inside the bunker? That could be of some use. Take all the items, done. Uh, let's go to this unvisited location. As soon as you notice the Nazi flag and stop immediately and look around in danger. Soon you release as it's just an abandoned flag and leave. As you drive along the track at the edge of the gorge, you encounter a lone nomad. The worried looking man is bent over by his camel, or is lying on the ground, breathing heavy and uneven gasps. Start a conversation. Omar greets the men in a respectably strange language. They conduct an animated conversation. Omar looks worried and turns to you. Apparently, German soldiers are waiting to ambush at a village. You thank the man and carefully continue on your journey. When you reach the end of the raven, you climb the cliffs and survey the ruined village that lies in the distance ahead of you. You spot a large unit of German soldiers entrenched there. You gotta ambush the Germans. We don't stand for the fucking Germans. We kill them. On site. You can reload. that attack dog make my way downtown repair this armor for me we're gonna take some cover with Natalia over here uh, what do we have left nothing of significance okay no dogs don't gotta worry about meat You missed your shotgun blast, buddy. And I'm gonna ambush you with a sniper shot. Take it for the team. Okay. Hop on over here and pump your gut full of lead. Okay, so the German enemy soldiers are just about to come around the corner. I will say, I think this is one of the more interesting ways of doing like a whole German, like World War II era kind of game, where it takes place out in the desert and you're fighting the Germans, and it's just. I think it's really interesting. It's interesting what kind of path they took on the game in terms of like you know how they're doing it and just overall fun it takes a nice spin on things and I like that love that about indie games he missed I still shoot his compatriot though Do I hit the Nazi soldier? Yes, I do. Let's take the advantage point over here. See if I can't... Maybe hit him with a ranged attack? Yeah, I missed. Damn it all. Oh. Okay, Natalia's gonna die.
You get some first aid, honey. You go repair her armor. And you're gonna pay the price. my weapon. We're gonna sprint around. I'm sure I could disrupt him. Just gonna hunker down. And see if I can pet my losses. You're in for a world of hurt now, buckshot. Ah! Don't mess with the fucking Americans. Um, oh yeah. Reveal all the items we got. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, buddy. You stop near some worn down stone structures. After a short while, you drive off. Okay, stone structures in the desert, always a fine tuning of things. A new foundation wall is that remains in the temple complex, half buried in the sand and rocks. You search the area, and, but apart from a small rock and altar, you find nothing of importance. Search the area. Search it. Find something. Get it. Come on, Baron. Examining the altar reveals nothing new in information. It's many years since the living creature set foot in this desolate place. You were seized by the strange restless and decide to leave of the um, oppressive place as fast as you can. Looks a little haunted if you ask me. Not far from the pass, a uh, mishap and blackened object in the sand appears. It appears to be a huge obsidian block of natural origin, hurled down by a volcano erupting many years ago. You see a menacing silhouette of the Mount Surlipin Volcanium in the distance. You feel a tiny and vulnerable in the face of such timeless vastness. You set off again afterwards. An ancient, dilapidated building is in front of you. It may once have been a temple. Curious to you, you start to explore it. As you enter the altar room, you see a bored-looking German sentry leaning against the wall. He spots you, and to alert his comrades. It's time to go, then. Time to put a bullet in the brain. And make sure they don't escape. Oh, it's just him and his dog. Oh, poor dog, you're gonna die. Like, real soon. Dead for sure now, punk. He asked for it indeed. You gotta cut him off. Over here, I 
think this leads... No, it doesn't. It doesn't lead where I want it to go. Well, that's sad. Come here, doggy, doggy, doggy. Oh, you do a lot of damage. Die, mutt. Got him. We're almost there, folks. We're almost into Turkey. Ooh, I'll take all of that, please, and thank you. The meager remains of a few ruined walls in the desert sands work from the former settlement. Today in the place is a barren and deserted. You find no trace of the inhabitants in the sprawling farm. Instead you find a large wooden check death detachment has taken up a lodging here. Do you want to risk the attack? Let's just continue on our journey. Leave the place unseen. There's something said for taking your enemy on, but also just getting a move on. At the center of the depression, you find a pitch black obelisk in the surface of the polished glass. What you initially thought was a shapeless bundle of rags turns out to be a lifeless body of a German soldier lying in the desert sand with his arms outreached at the foot of the um, obelisk. A strange humming sound emits from the obelisk. Examine the soldier. Examine the area. Your disconcreting drone sound emanating from the obelisk remains. The hum of power line, the smell of burning flesh hangs in the air. Could the soldier have been el electrocuted? Natalia takes off her jacket and folds carefully and lays it on the desert sands, isolate herself before bravely reaching into the obelisk. A humming sound stops instantly. A few feet away, the hole opens in the desert sand. You look down the shaft and see a small burial chamber containing a strange structure, not unlike a sarcophagus. You soon find an opening in the mechanism. What might be hidden inside? Take it all. Is that all? Disappointed? You shoot your torches and search the rest of the chamber. Perhaps you overlooked something. Just as you are about to leave, you find a small ring in the corner of the room, half hidden in the dust of the centuries. The ring is in plain but truly beautiful in its own way, much too beautiful to sell. You decide that one you should wear it. Jackson, you wear it. feel a strange tingling as he puts the ring on. Jackson, my precious will never leave. My precious, I will never give you away. Jackson, ungarnished ring. Ooh. Ooh. That's kind of creepy, to be honest. Let's go to this, uh, let's trade with him. I'm gonna buy your fuel up. Rest of your ammo. And you know I don't got much of anything else. Let's uh check on Jackson over here. Uh okay. So he's like addicted to the ring, but like he gets a boost because of it? Okay. I guess that's okay. Whatever. The village looks run down and deserted. You see a small plum of smoke rising to the courtyard. It canoes. They decide to investigate and run straight into the German unit soldiers who have had set up camp here. Stay calm.
With the speed and surprise of all of you, Omar takes the two of the soldiers and cracking their heads together. You use the element of surprise to open fire. You looking for trouble, buddy? My friend Omar here. He'll crack a couple skeds. A couple eggs open on and cross you. Are they? First off, there's one. Where's the other? Oh, he's right there. It looked like a farmer in there. Omar, you brute. I'm gonna sprint on out of here. Hut, 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 hut. Sniping time! <laughs> Ambush me, I dare you. Can't hit him. Fuck. But he can. Stabby, stabby. You aren't getting away this time. Well, he never got away to begin with, but you know how it goes. Reveal all the items that were hidden. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is all the episode I have for this. This is all the time that I have for this episode of Pathway. I will see you in the next video. I'm Terra Cactus. Ta-ta!